Hey guys, today I want to show you something about texturing. It's a new workflow that just comes out. I will show you how you can use your real displacement texture and the new Quixel mixer. The nice thing is that all um, this nice material is only one material and not a mixed material made in Octane. It just uh, mix between uh, three MAPE inside uh, the new Quixel uh, mixer uh, beta. So how do you get Quixel mixer? You just get it by having a Megascan subscription. I introduce myself quickly. I'm Max from MHS Prod and also founder of the Motion Designers community. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe and watch the content language in the upright because some tutorials are in French. And I also invite you to join us on our Discord when you can uh, share, talk with people, um, ask critiques. So really cool community. Feel free to join us and um, be active there if you have any question. I will be more able to answer on Discord uh, rather than YouTube or Facebook or anything. So you have all the links in the description. And I like this new workflow. Actually, this is not a tutorial. I'm kind of new. So you you need to know that this the few things that I show you today maybe will be in improved uh, soon as I'm just experimenting but I just want to share with you now this tutorial because many guys I think will improve the, their workflow discover new thing and share with the community that's how we evolve so that's why I'm sharing these tips with you that's because everybody can learn something and help each other so I will um, right now jump into uh, quick cell mixer and just make a quick overview. As I said, this is not a tutorial guide. This is just uh, like uh, a tip, a news or a test or whatever, just to, to, to notice you that it's possible. I will just create a new asset. For example, I just show you how it works on a simple plane. So here I'm in the quick cell mixer and the um, layout is really simple to understand. I have here in my browser just two materials that comes um, with the real displacement texture packs. Again, great pack that you can find on their website. Really nice. I will uh, just click there and skip this because I do not have all in the texture. But if you have a mega scan subscription, you can use mega scan uh, materials. And this is, uh, I think, more optimized uh, to play with this uh, great software. But I think that's okay with what we have today. So here I have my base material. Um, here is my layer, different thing, different tabs. Here I can play with the high frequencies, low frequencies to have nice control. I can play with eight frequency, octave, latinarity, persistence. I can play with the gloss of my map, I can offset it, I can play with repetition and I can set the surface, many many things. And the cool thing is how I will uh, mix it. So I will just go into my browser and import a new texture and just click this time and on top of that I will have my sand. And here I have my different type of mask and just by playing with uh, the, um, the mask I'm able to mix really easily my textures. That's nice because I'm mixing, I can mix like a bunch of maps and import them into my C4D. The one bad thing is that I it's not it's not procedural like you know if I do a material in octane I'm not able to change the seed of my noise or change my mix so you have probably less control but if you're sure that you will use this material use this program because 
instead of having like uh, 20 maps you will just have four or five and that's pretty nice again same parameters preserve detail reduce just many things to play gloss and I can add extra effects like uh, having a liquid on top of it that's really nice or you can play with it then opacity threshold so I can just have like liquids inside uh, these uh, small parts and again I can play with the gloss the glossiness if I want a high gloss liquid liquid many things and here in the display I'm uh, able to change the field of view and can play with light rotation so I know how my material will work so here you can know that I'm I'm bad because it looks too metallic so just just make your your improvement make your maps and play with the asset you already have um, I'm just kind of new to mega scan but here I can already play with my real displacement texture and guys I promise you that way I will improve this workflow workflows and will make more tutorials about it this is not really a tutorial but just like uh, hey guys I should notice you that you can do this and then you just have your export parameters just export it import the different maps in Octane and play play with normal maps play with displacements I, I've made a, a really quick export uh, with a low resolution but for a mid a mid distance map it's uh, actually not that bad should improve again a uh, few things but as you see it's uh, it it really looks nice uh, I love the look and uh, it's 3d just just have fun guys just uh, play just add sphere into your scene so you will become the the daily king the render daily king it's really important to add sphere in, in into your your stuff really important so okay it, it was the final joke hope you guys enjoy this short tips video I know that's not really a tutorial but hey guys we need to to talk on discord to improve this workflow and make a great community again subscribe to the channel feel free to check the huge amount of workflow tutorials here I show you how to, to, to paint with substance painter and import all your materials into Octane that's a real tutorial I show you from scratch and then how to import your materials so that's why today I do not show you the export and how to import because I, I show this many times you have a tutorial by Timo Noak on to make water puddles in you have an advanced Octane tutorial by Ivan, you have um, Octane X Particles tutorial, you have tutorials by Red Dashwood. Guys, let's let's have fun and feel free to subscribe to Motion Designer, find the Discord, talk with us and if you like um, the work we do at MHS Prod, so Sylvain and myself, feel free to check it if you want to collab messages and just have a great time see you guys hope you enjoyed this really short video it was not a tutorial if you liked it put a comment thumbs up because that's just all the algorithm of YouTube works and see you next time for cool tutorials cheers